Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another Valorant video. But not just any Valorant. Today is Valorant console. So today we're going to make a Valorant console tier list. So in particular, if you don't know what's going on, it's for console only. So there's going to be a lot of changes when it comes to this tier list. And so like certain characters that are A tier, maybe B tier on console, or sorry, on PC, might not be as good as, let's just say their PC counterparts, okay? So basically I see this. I'm going I split pretty much all the characters into duelist, support, controller, sentinel and stuff. Oh sorry, not support, uh initiator. But I separate into the categories and I'm just gonna go one by one. I'm gonna do duelist first and then initiators and we'll get right into it, okay? So first things for Jet. Jet on itself on PC is an A tier character. She is absolutely amazing. On console though she is i would say she's still an a tier character there's not much has changed just it's just a bit more of a skill gap or a learning curve as well so i want to put jet still at a tier it's she's still amazing uh she's one of the best operator characters in the game on herself her kit's amazing she's a great initiator she's not as good as some of the other um duelists compared compared to i'll get to it eventually but she is absolutely still amazing Next is Raze, and I'll say this, Raze, on PC, she is an S-tier character, no doubt. I know there recently has been a nerf to their, her satchels. I haven't seen any, like, huge, like, I, I've seen the huge difference, but I haven't, like, I've seen some good Raze's on console, don't get me wrong, mostly because they, they were aiming good, but not because of their util usages. But I'll say this right now, uh, Raze herself, I'm going to put her at B-tier. Um, mostly because her mobility is a bit diminished. She's not as good as some of the other, um, duelists, I would say off the top of my head. And also, he's get, she gets outclassed by others in her field. That's, that's all I'll say. Okay, next is ISO. And just like PC, ISO is probably the most broken character in the game right now. Like, at the current moment, I will put... ISO in his own category because how good he is on PC and just console. Like there are certain games like you can take if you have a good ISO on your team at the current moment of unrated console Valorant, you can dominate the game and single handedly take over the game. Like I've done it before. I've done it myself. Like he's that good. So we'll get on to Neon. Neon. Definitely with the most recent buffs to her kit before the console uh, release. Barry was interesting. I quite liked her on PC, and she's a good character. Um, she is quite good. I, I won't say, don't sleep on her at all. And especially on console, where a lot of people struggle with their aim, I'm going to put Neon on S tier, especially with that mobility. If you can master the mobility, and you can have at least average or above average aim she is definitely going to be carrying some teams she's not as quite as good as iso but she is good on herself and her alt is absolutely ridiculous if you can get it as much as you can okay so next i'm going to is phoenix uh phoenix himself i got some clips if you've seen some of my clips on youtube already phoenix is absolutely an amazing character he's actually really trash when it comes to the pc port mostly because he gets out dueled completely and because of his util usage however this might be a hot take in console i want to put him up at a tier only and the only reason why i'm going to say this is because phoenix's flash i i if not is the best flash in the game that's just me that's my person personality i i'll tell you this right now on pc i can never dodge the phoenix flash but I'll say this on console, it's just as bad. Like, I think they probably delayed it like even half a second on console. And you, I get free kills every time I get Phoenix. When I just flash around a corner, as long as I can get hit my shots, I get a free kill each time. Yep. So Phoenix is A tier. Reyna. Reyna, Reyna, Reyna. At the current moment, Reyna is a very solid character after her buffs and nerfs. However, she, I, I wouldn't say she's as good as ISO or Neon, but she's on the same level as Jet and Phoenix. 
So I might put Arena on A tier. She is the people's champion. She is a ranked demon. For pro play or pro competitive Valorant, she's going to dominate. She's going to steal games at low ELO. And probably at a high ELO too, especially because of the amount of mobility in just the fact that you can just run it down with her and get a bunch of kills. And, you know, and the fact her, her ult, I would say, is probably very good now. Uh, not quite S tier level ult goodness like Neons, but it's still very good. And, I spe and especially with the lack of timer on her ult. Yeah, hands down. Amazing. Yep. Yoru. Now, Yoru, at the current moment, I'm going to put under Do Not Play. At least one character for each um from each faction or pretty much each role. And the reason why I don't play Yoru is because we don't I I don't have enough knowledge about the console version of Yoru and how a lot of these players play against. I might in the next couple of days play only Yoru, maybe live stream it and stuff and just show. He is a very tough character to play on PC. And I I'm gonna tell you this right now. There's maybe like three or good Yoru players off the top of my head. And if you say you're a good Yoru player, if you're not in those top four in my head, like uh, tens, I believe there's a guy from uh, uh, APAC and then pretty much the um, the two big Yoru uh, YouTubers. Everybody else, I wouldn't. Yeah, red. I believe it's red. Yeah, one of them's red. Like everybody else is not good Yoru players. Like these guys on hand in hand, they make Yoru look amazing. But on himself, he is not a good play on not a good agent compared to the others. A lot of the others, like ISO is a very easy character to pick up, and the amount of skill that takes the master ISO is very minimum. While Yoru is a high skill agent, like I would put like if if anything. If I can make Yoru work in the next couple of days, I might put Yoru in S tier. Like, if Yoru, because of the flashes and stuff, and the uh, the difficulty of avoiding flashes and on the console version, I'll say this: I will. This might be a hot take. I won't be surprised in the next couple of days. I might be putting up clips of Yoru dominating. Okay, that's just me. So next, up, we're going to go to initiators now. Okay, so for breach. Breach is very good, I would say. Um, the problem with Breach is he's very coordinated heavy. Like you, like you can definitely get some cheeky stuff solo uh, using him, but he is more meant for team play. And at the current moment, it's all about running it down without your team and getting as many kills as you possibly can. But I'm still going to put Breach maybe at B tier. Um, he's definitely more of a setup character. I, I'm just more of a fan of the other people, especially. Uh, that, that's just me personally. I, I'm just more of a fan of the other characters. Uh, KO. I'm going to put KO under Do Not Play for, um, console players. Mostly because KO is, a, again, he is a high skill agent. Especially, like, no matter what anybody says, I still think KO has the highest skill ceiling out of all the initiators. The problem is, it, it's heavy play around a team. And the problem with, compared to Breach and KO is, it's a lot easier to set up your team with Breach, because how easy just to throw your flash to a wall. Or there's specific lineups you need to do for KO to be super effective. Well, that, again, this is just my opinion. I wouldn't, like, for the new console players, I wouldn't suggest playing KO. He is a very difficult agent to play, but he's still quite good. Uh, Fade, on the other hand, um, I'm going to put Fade maybe at C tier. She is good. She Don't get me wrong, she is a good agent. Problem is, especially with all what's going on in beta right now, there's not enough team coordination to really delve out her kit she's a really good agent for setting up your character or sorry your teammates and stuff as an initiator but as a person who wants to carry your games and actually want to get some nice clips and stuff 
and a person who wants to get a lot of kills. Bay's not going to do that. But eventually, once we get into the ranked, I think this tier list will definitely change once we hit the ranked. Like, once ranked is unlocked and it ranked is up for everybody, this character will definitely be maybe a B or A. That's just me. I Gecko, I would say anybody with the Flash is absolutely amazing right now. Next to Breach. Breach is a Breach is dependent. But Gecko on himself, he, his flash is super easy to use. His damage molly is amazing. Uh his little little wing buddy, little bro, I like to call him. Little bro is absolutely good. If you know how to use little bro effectively, and if you have like if you're do do doing or like with a team right off the top of my head, if you're like in a party. I would say run Omen, Gecko, and then maybe an ISO, and you're going to win th like at least majority of your games. Like all you have to do at this current level right now is throw a smoke over the bomb, throw the Gecko's uh, little wingman onto the bomb. I would say half of the rounds you'll probably, um, let's just say you'll probably win just based on that tactic alone. At the current moment, <laughs> at the current moment. But even then, like his alt is good. His flash is good. His um, his little wingman's good. His molly's good. Like definitely an A tier character, and he's very easy to learn. Like he's not a very high skill agent. Like Jet, Phoenix, Reyna, Gecko are very easy agents to learn, especially with the amount of kills they can get. Neon, a little bit trickier, but he uh, she's still a really good agent. Uh, Sova. I'm going to put right now. Unfortunately, I love Sova. I'm also partially a Sova main on PC. But I'm going to have to put Sova in B tier. Only on the basis of this. On the basis of this. There's only... We're not setting up our team right now. Not a lot of people do shock dart lineups and stuff. And... The way Sova is used generally on PC and stuff is setting up your teammates, but everybody's so uncoordinated. Like, he's just not worth playing at the current moment right now for most people. I love Sova. Like, again, I there's a lot, there's a lot of tricks I know, and eventually I'm going to do a lot of character breakdown guides of these characters, especially for, for all you console players. But I will say this. At the current moment, Sova is not the best agent to learn right now. That's just me personally. Okay, we are off to smokes, uh, whatever, whatever it's called, not sentinels, controllers, controllers. Oh, actually, sorry, scratch that. We uh, missed Guy. Guy is going to be, um, that's going to be eight. There's not much to say. Her flashes are good. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do, even just a solo Sky. Don't sleep on Sky. Uh, I would say. Her dog's useless pretty much at the current moment, mostly because of how everybody plays. But at the same time, once, once, um, how do I say this? Once more people play and stuff, once more people play, um, I'm losing my train of thought. Holy shit. Once people play more too. What the fuck? Okay, just a random ad on the page. Okay, so basically, once everybody starts to be playing more together, I would say this, uh, then Sky will be effective, but at the current moment, I don't think so at all. Controllers. Okay, at the current moment, there's only two controllers worth playing at the current moment. And I'm going to say this right now. Clove, I will say this. Clove is worth it, and Omen is worth it. Those are the only two controllers that are worth playing at the current moment. Especially with the cool tricks you can do with Omen with the teleporter. You get some freezy kills. Um, Clove is very similar to Arena. On the basis of can really heal yourself quick. You can self-revive as long as you get a kill. You can maintain your life. Like, definitely play some Clove. If you unlock her, definitely an uh, agent that you want to play. Um, let's see. Brim, I wouldn't say worth it. Viper, not worth it at the current moment. 
Astra, as much as I love Astra, not worth it. And on Harbor, at the current moments, he's only good on one map and in the meta. And basically, that's Icebox. And nobody likes to play Icebox anyway. Okay. Oh, and for controller, I would say, I yeah, I would put... I, yeah, never mind. Scratch that. I would put Harbor under Do Not Play. He's just not worth it at the current moment. But actually, I might put Astra. I uh, don't play Astra if you're new to this game at all. However, definitely the ceiling's a little bit more supportive of Astra in this meta, eventually. But at the current moment, when people are just running it down and getting kills and stuff, Astra might be in a B tier kind of style. But for the people who are just trying to get kills and not playing the objective, which absolutely blows when I play, I, Astra's not just Astra's just not worth it, even though. Astro is definitely better than Harbor. Harbor, uh, at least his kit is actually pretty straightforward. Unlike Astro, where it is very technical and very team or oriented or coordinated. Okay, we're off to Sentinels. I'll say this right off the bat. Do not play Chamber. I'll say this right now. Do not play Chamber. He is under my do not playlist. The reason why is Chamber is definitely a sentinel and he's a good sentinel but the problem is his skill ceiling is all particularly as high as your mouse and keyboard player it is very hard to be a good chamber if you have shitty aim and the problem is right now everybody on console has shitty aim who do not play chamber as simple as that so next Killjoy, B tier. Killjoy is always fun. Can't speak. Killjoy is fun. She is very good for her trap plays and a lot of info gathering. At the current moment, she's not worth playing particularly, mostly because of the playstyle everybody's going through with the run it down strategy. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. I'll say Sage. Sage sucks. Like she, her kid's super outdated. She's not worth playing, even though she's, I believe she's the first Sentinel that's given to you. Her just, even though her ult is one of the best ults in the game, I guess, it's just not worth it. She's not worth it. She's like, oh, there's only a good handful of good uh, Sage players. Even then, like, coming up, I'll, sh I'll just show you. Those players are better. Those Sentinels are better. Uh, Deadlock. I'll say this right now. Deadlock's probably a B-tier agent. She definitely has a high potential, especially with her alt. Alt's really good. Her barrier is super annoying, especially for the console players. And a lot of people are not... A lot of people are running to the objective. They're not walking through the objective. So there's a lot of choke points that you can grab with her alt that will get you a lot of free, easy kills. I might actually put... Deadlock actually into A tier, mostly because everybody's running it down and people are not actually walking or dashing through objectives at the current moment. So I, I might actually put Deadlock actually at A tier at the current moment. Now, Cypher. Cypher, it's as simple as this. Cypher is A tier and will always be, sorry, Cypher is S tier and he will always be S tier in my heart. Cypher is easily. One of the best agents in the game. He's the best agent on PC. He's the best agent, one of the best agents on console. Because nobody plays him right now is because his trick is very hard to uh, Matt, like play good with. But once you get Cypher, he is so good. He is absolutely so good. Like, I've, at the current moment, on PC, I'm an Ascendant Cypher main, pretty much. When I do play Cypher and I'm getting that groove of the Cyphers, I, I get up there into Ascendance for Cyphers. And a lot of my game style is shooting through my cages, trapping people, like, and gathering information for my team and holding down forts. This is going to be a very high, like, five rush characters where the exact same situation with Deadlock, where everybody's just going to run it down. People are not going to be wary of the cages. Okay. So you're going to get a lot of easy and free kills through your cages and through your trips. So if there's anything I want to you can take away from this, 
is definitely try out Deadlock and Cypher. Definitely. If you are looking to play more of a Sentinel Control Lockdown Agent. For Duelist, try Neon and uh, ISO. ISO has, it's a must right now. And if you're looking for a Senate Down Agent, I would look for Clove. If you're looking for Initiator, play probably Gecko. Okay. So that's my tier list, everybody, for this. Uh, that is, sorry, guys. That is my tier list for the console version of Valorant. Thank you so much. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe down below. If you disagree with anything I said, please leave a comment down below. I am actually looking forward to hearing any of your feedback. And maybe, maybe I might take some of it into consideration when I do another future tier list once rank gets unlocked. Okay. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out.